Hey guys, Mandy again, your favorite Canadian YouTuber, eh? And guess what? You're not gonna believe this. Animation Rewind has finally posted Cartoon Fight Club of Bobo vs. wreck and Ralph. I swear, I've been waiting for this matchup forever. <laughs> now it's finally here. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. <laughs> oh, so I've recently done some uh, Bo's Big Adventure gameplay. I'll uh, try and upload that soon if I can. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, just you know, I'm the one who suggested this episode. I even made a trailer for it. And he even used some of the fudge from that trailer in the, the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club preview. <laughs> oh, and uh, he also said that uh, Spyro vs. Spike is going to be another future episode of Cartoon Fight Club, probably on episode 41. I've also made a trailer for that. I did it for Rainbow Dash Productions. Subscribe to him, will you? Alright. I got my Bobo and Rick and Ralph plushes here. This one I bought from Toys R Us. This one I made myself. Alright, you got with me. Let's do this. Ah. Oh. I thought that was so important. Die because he'll be able to so they are going to apply that rule. 
What's going on here?
if I will do it. Okay, over there. Huh? Well, a Volvo got wrecked, plain and simple, huh? and let's cut right to the chase. The main reason why Ralph had a clear advantage was obviously his durability. Remember that time he fell over 4,300 feet and survived without any significant damage? Well, let's talk about why that makes Ralph extremely durable. Now, the first question is, how do we know that Ralph fell over 4,360 feet? Well, it's simple. We can tie the length he was falling, and if you watch that cliff, you can clearly notice that Ralph falls for 27 straight seconds. It takes about 9 seconds to fall off the top of the Empire State Building, which is approximately 1,454 feet. If Ralph fell for 27 seconds, it is safe to assume that he's been falling for 4,360 feet. So what does this all mean? Well, the next thing we need to do is apply this to a simple gravity formula. We know Ralph's weight, and we know the distance he fell. So once we plug in these two numbers into a gravity formula, we would know exactly the amount of force Ralph faced during this fall. And as I said earlier in this video, that amount is 124 million newtons. Any human would face that force when falling. But the difference is any human would have been splattered like a bug with their guts fall everywhere. Every cell in Ralph's body was still intact during this fall. He didn't break any bones, he didn't get cut at all, he was perfectly fine. Although he did feel a little dizzy for a short period of time, there was no real significant damage. Does this mean his body is durable enough to withstand the force of 3 million tons of TNT? This makes Ralph so durable that there was nothing in the Bowles arsenal that he could have found strong enough to defeat him. Back to the heavy hitting weapons that a Bolo has really only exist in his dreams. But speaking of his dreams, we clearly saw a Bobo literally curb stopping Ralph with the power of his dream abilities, such as the Nintendo Power Glove. Now, some of you are still probably thinking, how did a Bobo kill Ralph in his game in his dream? Well, to answer that, Ralph was never really in his own game. He was in a Bobo's game because a Bobo was dreaming about killing Ralph in his game, being a Bobo's game. Did you follow me on that? Did I lose anyone? Well, just know that a Bobo can only kill Ralph in his dreams. Which technically means, depending how you see the plot of a Bobo's big adventure, this episode does have two winners, and it's a lopsided victory either way. Either Ralph has a clear victory, or Bobo has a clear victory. So there's only one way to make it a fair fight. A two-on-two -two rematch. If you want to see a rematch between a Bobo and a Bo-Boy versus Wrecking Ralph and Fix It Feeling, mm. you know what to do. Comment down below the word rematch. So I don't, I don't feel it will survive. 3,000 rematch comments, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your ideas for future Cartoon Fight Club episodes. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon mm -hmm. Fight Club. Stay tuned. I see. Because the next fighters are going to be revealed. I guess I'm gonna overestimate a couple of it. Depends on which way it takes place. Huh? Yep, that's my 
too. Yeah, I think all, I think all the Apollo vs. Regular Out are pretty shown as mine. Except for that one, that's not mine. I... Ouch. Why is this red? Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks.